Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're diving into Autopia subnet number 36 on the BitTensor network and showing you how miners are earning $5,000 per day with this subnet. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, make sure to grab your completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin in the description of this video, grab it now, and let's talk about Autopia. Okay, so like I said, Autopia is subnet number 36 in the BitTensor network. And what Autopia are doing is they're building the foundation for autonomous companies. Okay, what are autonomous companies? We're going to be diving into that in this video, but essentially they're creating AI agents and an AI workforce that allow you to ultimately become more operationally efficient when executing different tasks in your daily workflow. We're gonna talk about all those AI workers in just a moment, but you can see that Autopia right now is currently sitting at about 0.0042 tau per token, which is roughly speaking a dollar and 75 cents. We're at a $5 million market cap. And if we scroll down here, Autopia is currently earning about 0.41% of the daily emissions on tau, which is equal to around 30 tau and about 12.2 of that is going to miners. So very exciting to see the ability for miners to be able to earn $5,000 per day here. And when you think about the way that they have restructured their incentive mechanism, you're going to see how it's possible for a winner take all to be earning that 5k every single day. So what are we talking about? Well, you can see Autopia over here at Autopia.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so you can check it out yourself. But it is a decentralized marketplace for AI workers. OK, what does that mean? How does the incentive mechanism work? Well, you've got developers who are able to build, publish and monetize your AI workers and then users on the other side who are able to explore, customize and deploy those AI workers to unleash their full potential. So lots of different use cases here for AI workers in the Autopia ecosystem. If I scroll down here, you can see that starting off with Autopia Studio, we're going to be talking about Autopia Studio and the marketplace in a couple of minutes. But basically, you've got all these different AI workers that are part of the Autopia Studio that you can put to work executing different tasks on your behalf. And, you know, this is why the web is a natural starting point for Autopia, because there's so many Web 2 applications, examples here like Discord, Slack, your browser, your email, where you have a whole bunch of tasks that you're probably executing on a daily basis already. You can now start to use AI workers on Autopia to help uh, make those workflows much more efficient for you. So the web is a natural starting point for Autopia to help bridge this gap from web two into web three with AI workers enhancing and executing tasks across your daily workflow with the Autopia Studio. The infinite web arena is the next um, thing I want to touch on here very briefly, because this is essentially the evaluation benchmark that Autopia are creating for all of these AI agents. You know, how do these AI agents stack up against competitors? How do they stack up against other decentralized AI agents being built out by other protocols? Well, the infinite web arena is basically this evaluation benchmark that Autopia are leveraging to create scalable and realistic evaluations without relying on human feedback or limited data sources. So you're seeing that we now have new standards being created and that are evolving here over time as benchmarks for uh, understanding and essentially evaluating all of these different AI agents and AI workers. There's no point in using these AI workers if they're not best in class, if they're not ultimately helping you save time or save money in your business or in your daily workflow. So this benchmark of the infinite web arena is able to um, essentially help them do that. So the Infinite Web Arena, IWA, as a synthetic benchmark for all of these AI workers and AI agents is going to be very, very important now and into the future for Autopia and any business creating these AI workers. Next thing I want to mention is, like I alluded to a few minutes ago, you now have the launch of Dynamic Zero with a winner-takes-all incentive mechanism and a live leaderboard for Autopia. 
What does this mean? Well, we've seen other subnets in the ecosystem, just like Ridges, having a winner takes all mechanism where essentially the top miner, and in this case, it's going to be the developers creating these individual AI workers, have the ability to have a winner take all, i.e., all of the subnet emissions that are allocated towards miners are going to be up for grabs for Autopia and the top miner on any given day. So that's what they're saying here with this winner takes all. The top miner claims all rewards for that day, pushing competition to its peak. This model has worked very nicely on other subnets like Ridges, like I mentioned. And so Dynamic Zero launching with that winner takes all incentive mechanism and the live leaderboard where you can check out um, how that is stacking up for all the different miners. Link is broken at the moment. We'll come back to that. But you're going to be seeing a lot of competition happening on Autopia with miners, AI developers creating those AI workers to ultimately win those daily incentives and daily rewards. If we jump back over to the Autopia website, you can come into the Autopia documentation page, which gives you a nice snapshot on the Autopia studio, plus the marketplace, which gives businesses access to all these AI workers. You can start understanding how Autopia Studio and their chat application and their browser extension actually are all going to work in future. Now, there is limited access here. You can sign up for the waitlist at this moment in time. But with the Autopia Studio, like I alluded to, if I jump over to the homepage again here, there's a whole bunch of different AI workers that you can begin to explore. Lots of different use cases for these AI workers. So, you know, you might have an AI worker dedicated to simply doing fraud detection or another AI worker dedicated to search or SEO optimization. You might have another AI agent dedicated um, to email responses and drafting up uh, replies to all of those emails that you need to respond to in your inbox every single day. And so what I'm getting at here is with the Autopia Studio and Marketplace giving businesses access to these AI workers, you're moving away from a world where you're going to be executing with generic AI interfaces like simply ChatGPT, and you're going to have dedicated workers or dedicated AI agents that are being deployed for executing on very, very hyper-specific tasks. Again, these AI workers and AI agents are going to be trained and modeled and built to hone in on very specific tasks. That means that they will be best in class again, at executing those specific tasks for their specific work or use case because they've been trained on a model that, for example, makes it um, best in class at responding to emails and drafting up email responses based on your tone, your voice, and everything else that matters directly to your job or your position. And so we're going to be seeing hyper-specific use cases for all these AI workers, and that's the pivot or maybe the value add that Autopia is trying to hone in on rather than using just generic chat interfaces like ChatGPT, like many of us have been doing. So lots of use cases for these AI workers. I'm super excited to see how this is going to grow and evolve. I mean, if I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, you could argue that Autopia is trying to be, you know, a jack of all trades with all those different individual AI workers where other subnets are focusing in on, you know, being a subnet dedicated to a specific AI use case. You know, I can understand Autopia wanting to be that marketplace and create the Autopia studio to give businesses access to AI workers, but maybe they're going quite broad here as well. So I'm interested to see how this grows and evolves. We can see that they're working right now. We have price action, even for the subnet alpha token consolidating here over the past few months. What's very exciting for you right now is if you wanted to take on exposure to the Autopia subnet alpha token, you can also be generating more than 60% APY. So over the past 30 days, the price of the token is up about 3%. But on top of that, you're earning 63% APY, meaning if you have 10,000 tokens today, you're going to have something like 16,300, 365 days from now, if this APY stays consistent at 63%. So that is another way that you can get involved, earn staking yield, and actually have some skin in the game here. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys. Always do your own research. Make sure to check out the fundamentals and the technicals about anything that you're taking on exposure to. But I hope that gives you some insight into Autopia, what's happening here on Subnet 36. Yes, there is still work happening behind the scenes here, and you can build 
You can check out all the stuff happening in their documentation. They have a chat app that's integrated for the workflow as well. They've got a coworker extension, as I alluded to, where you're going to be able to see uh, use cases for AI workers integrated into your daily workflow when using your browser extension. As I said, I'm going to leave a link to Autopia in the description below this video, but check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Um, you can check out the people, the team, the GitHub repos, everything being built out. And there's some very exciting stuff happening, as I said. That is it for today's video, guys. Remember, if you got any value out of today's deep dive into Autopia, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Let's do it right now. Three seconds under my finger, there is a thumbs up button. Go ahead, smash that now. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, grab your copy of the Rise of Bitcoin. It's in the description below this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.